Lorraine. Hi. How's it going? Good, good. Lorraine, Lorraine May. Yeah. You were on before, but you're welcome again. Thanks very, very much. much. How's it going? Are you all right? You enjoying the night? Back. Yeah, it's amazing. It's it amazing. Is. I mean, you can hear some of the buzz outside there. There's choirs on the street. Yeah. There's buggies everywhere. There's families yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Unbelievable atmosphere around tonight. Thousands and thousands of people around. No, it is. The end of whole energy is oh, it's overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, the, it's like Christmas shopping, but without all the stress. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. no, it's really good. It's like a cultural Christmas, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you don't have to spend a fortune. But everything's free. Everything's free. <laughs> exactly. Everything's completely yeah, free. Yeah, no, it's good. So listen. Tell me about what's going on. You're down in the Temple Bar Cultural Trust. That's right, that's right. Um, and I actually just came from there now and on Meeting House Square, um, we have a screening of Fire and Away uh, because it's the IFI's 20th anniversary oh, yeah, this year. Yeah. Um, so the screening Fire and Away, um, a good, good old uh, uh, film there with Tom Cruise yeah, and Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Kidman. Um, and some of it was actually filmed in Temple Bar as well, which is why oh, they decided it? to show tonight. So oh. there's hundreds of people down in Meeting House yeah. Square now for that. There's loads of stuff in Meeting House Square at the moment, isn't loads. there? Loads, yeah. I was at a little kind of wine vineyard there. That's right. A few weeks ago. Yeah, a just couple by weeks chance, ago. Yeah, yeah, it was that really was good. fantastic. There was, there was like a mm. vineyard, everything was growing there. Yeah, like, you it, was know, good, it was amazing. It was good. I got a free t shirt and oh, a good. couple of little Great. glasses of wine. Yeah, it was yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. We put the umbrellas up uh, last year, the four yeah. giant umbrellas. They look good. They're, they're good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're great yeah. for events. It means you won't get wet. It yeah. means that way more things are happening there. Way more fantastic things like vineyards, you know, yeah. um, Dublin Fringe is in there. Uh, yeah. all last week and for the rest of the weekend actually as well um fantastic fantastic yeah. and is the plans for much more film screens in there because i think that's a really good idea to have films on in there yeah um well we did uh, a dublin outdoor film festival there in may and june and we're yeah. going to do that again next year so um cool. so keep an eye on our website templebar.ie and there'll be full details there very okay cool. yeah cool so we were mentioning before, I was saying I was down in your place in the Culture Box. Yeah. I like that name. Yeah, it's that's, a good name. That's, that's, good the Culture name. Box is named with like the gallery space as such, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. And there's a Jonathan Barry. That's right, Jonathan Barry is um, an illustrator and he has illustrated the covers of some of the most famous books in the world. So we're talking Dracula, yeah. uh, we're talking illustrations for Wind in the Willows. Cool. Uh, he's done Harry Potter, he's done all the greats. Ah. Um, and this is an exhibition of those works uh, that have been, you know, as yeah. I say, on the covers of these books. And they're just phenomenal pieces of work as they well. Are. You know? they're, go they're gorgeous, they're yeah. all, they're, um, each, each one has a small caption of a, a small paragraph from each yeah. of the book and there's a really good one from Dracula and it's got your man at the bottom of the steps of the I think it's called the castle that one and it or the steps of the castle and yeah. he's looking up and Dracula's little head's just kind of popping out Even the front out. door and yeah, stuff, yeah. you know it's, yeah. really, it's really good they're just they're just really lovely lovely paintings yeah and they're lovely you know. and tonight Jonathan has given a couple of talks about them and about Ooh. his work so um yeah. it's a lovely time to kind of get down there and get more of an insight into the process you know the whole creative process around yeah. how he created them and he's done like nearly all the children's books he's done he's done loads of, he's done a lot everything I didn't realize it until yeah. You go around them and yeah. you see Yeah, until you yeah. see them all there, yeah. you know, in one place, you really yeah. get a, a sense of the scope of all the work that he's done. It's yeah, fantastic. Cool. And he gave a talk. Were you at it? Uh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Oh. But I did fly past it uh, on my way somewhere else, and there was it was packed, packed, yeah. full of where kids, you, Where were you flying to? Um, I was going down, I was kind of getting a sense of all the, the galleries and what was happening in there. I started off at Temple Bar Gallery and Studios, yeah. uh, could barely even get in the door, so many people yeah. in there, it was brilliant. Uh, went past Monster Truck, they have a full programme of performance yeah. art on we tonight. Just, we just had, yeah, we just were discussing that, yeah, yeah. sounds good. Yeah, no, it does. Um, and then I went past Exchange, and Exchange there was uh, kids workshops, there was people drawing, yeah. there was uh, music happening outside, yeah. in fact that might be what we're hearing now. Uh, there was Exchange a is great, does Exchange kind of have like cult tonight? Every week, there's always loads of stuff going on there yeah. all the time. It's yeah, good. there's it's loads, good there's loads. There it's an the interesting moment. place, you know, because it's run um, by collectives. So basically they yeah. have meetings every Wednesday and they decide what they're going to do for the following couple of months or the next few weeks. Uh, so all sorts happens there, you know, uh, yeah. storytelling, exhibitions, yeah. choirs, amazing. Yeah. People just can't hang out there as well, they really yeah. like that. Yeah, kind they of do. like an exchange of energy and ideas. It's and a social, just go, a social yeah, space. And just mingle and talk. Yeah. yeah, have a cup of tea, you know, have a chat. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. So are you involved in the markets then as well? We are. Temple Bar Cultural Trust runs the markets um, that happen every week in Temple yeah. Bar. So there's three of them. There's uh, the food market that happens on Meeting House Square. The, the, the fish guy's brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant yeah. fish Saturday morning. Yeah. 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 Oh, you get some fabulous stuff yeah. in there. Uh, there's a book market as well, of course, on Temple Bar Square. Yeah. And then um, down here in the old city on Cows Lane, there's uh, Designer Mart. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, all kind of handmade. It looks great when you go down there, and the, um, down Cows Lane on a Saturday. It's just got this, it's just a vibe. It's like, yeah. oh, this is really good. You yeah. Know? yeah. 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 No, there's mm. a great buzz. 
and uh, it's all Irish, you know, handmade designer goods. So um, you're going to pick up something really special down there, you know. Yeah. So, um, so head down there on a Saturday. So you, so you, the Temple Bar Culture Trust, pretty much kind of are involved in like everything that's going on around Temple Bar, really. Yeah, well, um, Temple Bar Culture Trust uh, like, you know. own a lot of the buildings and spaces in Temple Bar. Oh. Um, but uh, the venues that are in there, we'll say like Temple Bar Gallery and Studios, uh, they all program their own events. Yeah. Um, so while we're, we're involved in kind of coordinating collective events, and um, we'll say we did an event last year called Maiden Temple Bar, where sure. all the organisations in the area got involved, and it was a big kind of collective festival for Temple Bar. So yeah. um, we'd sort of coordinate kind of big events, um, but some of the most nationally significant organisations are in Temple Bar, like the IFI, like the Arca Cultural Centre for Children, which is packed to the rafters again tonight as yeah. well, as you can imagine. The Arctic uh, place as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's an amazing place, an amazing place. Okay, so you give it a thumbs up call tonight, tonight. Yeah, this year. absolutely, absolutely. You'll be back next year, will you? I, I, I'd say pretty much can be guaranteed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, listen. Thank you very much. Thanks for a million. You've been Thanks on twice. You're like me. Our, our main guest. Yeah. <laughs> so, so listen, this is the end of our Culture Night night tonight on uh, on this good show. Mm -hmm. So thank you to you. I'm oh, Blaze. Thanks, thanks to everybody involved here. All the guys doing all the technical stuff. Thank you to all the people involved. Thank you to all the artists and everything. So we thought we'd have a little celebration. <laughs> Woo! 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 So, uh, and... Uh, and can I just say as well, just thanks uh, to everyone involved in Culture Night TV. Um, it's just been brilliant to have this. You know, it's been a fantastic resource for people. So, um, so well fair done. Fair play. Yeah, fair play. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open this I'm over scared. here. Are we open this yeah. now? Is everybody yeah, safe? No, no, no. Are we ready? Should I shake it up? No. no. Like they're doing the racetrack. Ready? Don't, ready? <laughs> don't <laughs> pressure me! <laughs> Now. This is an extra bonus, fantastic. Thank you.